It's time for our DIY Friday, and today we're finding out a fun way to brighten up your dinner table. Nina Belton, founder and creative director of The Styled Life, shows us how to add your own color to your linens. So hi, Nina, you have a colorful way to dress up table settings, right? Yes, so um, you can dip dye linen materials, napkins, table runners, and a bunch of different colors and just create a really fun table setting um, in your home. Um, How do you do it? What kind of material do you start with there? So I started with a linen napkin um, that I got for $10. I got a pack of four for $10. And I went and purchased some fabric dye. Just RIT is like the best on the market. And it's super easy to use and you create a solution. And then you just dip dye, you dip the napkin into the solution. And what I did, because I wanted kind of a, a great, a, a color, oh, cool. like an ombre effect, is I sat, I kept the bottom of the fabric in longer in the color and let it get darker. And then it just kind of faded towards the top. Mm -hmm. um, and the really cool thing is, is you can do this with any co any color dye, um, and pretty much any fabric. So if you don't want linen, you want something a little bit, you know, more sturdy or thicker, you can do a cotton, you can do a canvas material, and the colors come out really rich. Yeah, and you could even use like probably an old napkin and you know freshen those yeah. up or make them make them new again. Yes, recycle all of those old linens that you're not using anymore. You can do your dish towels if you want some color in your kitchen. You can make some old dish towels and dye those a different color. And you could even, this is like a fun and more the like grown up way to do tie dye in your right. home. <laughs> tie dye is a huge trend right now. And this is kind of like a more sophisticated way of doing that. Yes. And does it have to just be napkins? Because it looks like maybe you have runners and things there on the yes. table too. I did a table runner. I've, I've done a tablecloth. You could even do, you know, you could even do curtains. You know, <laughs> if you want to bring some color into your living room, you can take your white curtains and just drop those in some dye. And um, there you go. You've got yeah. a whole new look. Is it messy? <laughs> It's a little messy. That's the mom you and know, me. Wear those t-shirts, put some gloves on. I think my fingertips are still blue right. um, <laughs> from doing this. Um, but definitely wear gloves and some old clothes you don't mind getting dirty. Make sure you put a tablecloth, you know, a plastic drop cloth down when you're working or do it outside. Mm. You know, while the weather's really good. Right. And any last tips before we let you go? I mean, like how to not mess this up. <laughs> You really can't mess it up, honestly. <laughs> Perfect. Um, that's the best part about it. You can't mess it up. I would say get a color stay fixative from RIT so that your colors don't bleed and you can wash your linen. Um, it's probably the only other tip I would say. Awesome. Uh, cool. Nina Belton, The Styled Life, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you. And this is what the finished product looked like. Nina sent us these photos of what your tablescape could be. Uh, she lovely. also has this stuff on her Instagram, too, The Styled Life. It's great if you want to start following her. You can see her designs and sign up for her monthly newsletter at her website, The Styled Life. We have that information, wccocom slash links.